Hello, my name is Blair, and I'm this man's wife. He told me he's busy doing God knows what in the Gulag, so I will be the one making this video, so me and Baron rarely agree on anything, especially in GTA, so when I tell you that both of us like this car, you know for sure that it's so good, but Blair, this is the worst car from the contract DLC, hell, it looks like a generic NPC vehicle, so how in the ass, did you and your husband buy this fucking square shaped death trap? My answer isn't very complicated, first time not a pro gamer like my husband is, so grinding for money in this game isn't really a stimulating thing for me, especially in something like GTA. Fortunately, this car happens to be the cheapest time any tech car money can buy, second, being a woman is difficult, you don't only have to deal with your natural born skill issues, but also with all the troglodytes gathering around you like flies on a pile of shit in a hot summer day, so having access to things like explosive resistance, and missile lock on immunity, can be a good thing, third and perhaps uncommonly. Having a boring NPC looking vehicle is an underrated thing, since it adds an element of surprise to your strategy, so you can pay back the manchild who shoved a rocket in your ass, by feeding him his own dick. This car is based on the 1981 Fifth Avenue from Chrysler, the shittiest American car company to ever be founded. Their only saving grace is Dodge SRT, and they even fucked that up big times, I care so little about them I refuse to research any of their 1980s models, as they all look like the most boring thing to ever have for wheels, I think this about does it for this video, tune in the next video to watch the Baron man himself review one of his favorite and most prized possessions, the Ocelot Virtue, I don't know why he loves this shitty electric vacuum cleaner anyway, so thanks for watching and I will see you, around.